Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shouldn't have all ages, Hollywood Sean out here. About to give you another WWE Immortals video. In this video, we talk about the DX multiplayer gear that is available if you get in the top 5% by Wednesday, August 5th at 6 in the evening. We're also going to do the Dashing Rogue John Cena challenge. And for those of you who haven't actually seen the passive ability for John Cena, it's kind of like Killer Frost, but not quite as powerful. It only reduces healing by 50%, but you also gain the passive ability that causes your basic attacks to also do damage over time. So we're going to start off with bronze characters. We have to make sure we don't use Kane for the first battle, as we have to use Randy Orton, Kane in the second battle. So we're going to use Viper Randy Orton, Ancient Druid Sheamus. Kane. I think we are going to use Kane for one fight, though. We're actually going to do the first fight in the second battle first. So... One challenge currency, one stamina per fight. In the first matchup, we have Strongman Big E, Pyromancer Nikki Bella, and Centurion Roman Reign. Cards start off at level 11. Skip the match is 1,000 credit. Now, we are doing this out of order only so we don't have to spend stamina on Kane because he'll be able to gain that stamina back within 10 minutes easily. Let's get it going. We're going to start with Kane. So Big E about to go down. Obviously, in Nightmare Difficulty, you'll want to spend the stamina for Kane, at least for the first and second battle. So we're going to go the Power Bomb, and Roman Reigns is eliminated for the victory in the first fight of the second battle. Normally, we don't do this out of order, but since we can finish the second battle in under 20 minutes, we want to have that stamina point. 192 XP, 240 credits. So I'm going to go back into the first battle. We're going to swap Kane out. And I think we're going to throw in... Hey, throw in Paige, because that will give Randy Orton an ally. And for Randy Orton, we're going to give him Vince's microphone. Randy Orton, Sheamus. And for Ancient Druid Sheamus, we're going to give him the Money Sheamus. in the Bank gear. Paige. For Dark Sorceress Paige, we're going to give her the Money in the Bank ticket. And we also got the training bench for Big E in a gear locker that we are going to upload at a later time. So one challenge currency, one stamina per fight. In the first matchup, we have White Witch Trash Stratus, Yes Movement Daniel Bryan, and Centurion Roman Reigns. Cards start off at level 1. Skill of the match is 1,000 credits. It begins. Who will come out on top? Trish Stratus quickly eliminated. Daniel Bryan comes in. Gets wiped out. And Roman Reigns eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 172 XP, 230 credits. And will Ancient Druid Sheamus actually hit level 42 by the end of his 10 fights? In the second matchup, we have the Demon Kane, Dark Sorceress Page, and Pyromancer Nikki Bella. Cards gain a level of 2. Skip the match, it's 1,000 credits. Let's get rolling. Kane wipes out in three shots. Nikki Bella wipes out in three shots. And Paige eliminated for the victory in the second fight. 174 XP, 1,250 credits. In the third matchup, we have Ice Witch, Brie Bella, Ancient Druid, Sheamus, and Strongman Big E. Cards gain a level of 3. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Now we got our first money in the bank, Brock. Here we go! So Brie Bell about to go down, finally not hitting in 3 shots. And Big E eliminate for the victory in the third fight. 176 XP, 270 credits up to 570, so we got the 4-star proc. In the 4th matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle, going up against Giant Big Show, Viper Randy Orton, and White Witch Trish Stratus. Cards gain a level of 4, skip the match is 1,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. 
So the Big Show eliminated. Randy Orton comes in. Randy Orton wiped out. Trish Stratus is going to also get eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. 178 XP, 290 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Dark Sorceress Page, Ancient Druid Sheamus, and Yes Movement Daniel Bryan. Cards gain a level of 5. Skip the matches now. 5,000 credits. Let's get it going. So Page eliminated. Sheamus comes in. Sheamus also wiped out. And Daniel Bryan eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. 180 XP. 310 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Centurion Roman Reigns, Pyromancer Nikki Bella, and Strongman Big E. Cards gain a level of six. Come to the match is 5,000 credits. And here they go. We're trying light attacks. We haven't seen an RKO yet. I'm kind of disappointed by that. Superman Punch taken on purpose just to generate some power. Hits for 185. Roman Reigns eliminated. Nikki Bella comes in. Spinning Jaw We're going to take that on purpose to generate power, too. That's a two hit move generator. So Nikki Bella eliminated. Big E comes in, who is black. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face, and Big E is eliminated for being black. I am the 2,479 damage for the victory in the sixth fight. 182 XP, 330 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Viper Randy Orton, the Demon Kane, and Ice Witch Brie Bella. Cards gain a level of seven. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Watch out. This one's gonna be brutal. Randy Orton quickly eliminated. Kane comes in. Kane also eliminated. Brie Bella comes in. And Brie Bella eliminated for the victory in the seventh fight. 184 XP as Ancient Druid Sheamus hits level 42. 350 credits, gaining 15 damage and 40 health. Very poor upgrade. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge. Went up against White Witch Trish Stratus, Ancient Druid Sheamus, and Dark Sorceress Page. Cards gain a level of 8. Skip the matches, 5,000 credits. Then we got our second Money in the Bank proc in the first battle. Let's get rolling. Chris Stratus eliminated. Sheamus comes in. Sheamus eliminated. Page comes in. And Page is going to take the Venomous Backbreaker for the victory in the eighth fight. 186 XP. 370 credits up to 670. So we got our second four-star proc of the first battle. And we got three stamina cards. In the ninth matchup, we have Strongman Big E, Giant Big Show, and Yes Movement Daniel Bright. Cards gain a level of nine. Skip the match is now 10,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. <laughs> Biggie eliminated. The Big Show comes in. Big Show eliminated. Daniel Bryan is in. And Daniel Bryan eliminated for the victory in the ninth fight. 188 XP, 390 credits. 
In the 10th matchup, we have Centurion, Roman Reigns, Viper, Randyorn, and the Demon King. Cards gain a level 10. Skip the match is 10,000 credits, and because we have two minutes to go, we have to swap out. We're going to put show. in the Big Show Big and eight. Strongman. Actually, I think we're going to put in Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. It's a lot faster card. So we're going to give him Vince's microphone. Daniel Bryan. Big E. And we're going to give Strongman Big E the money in the bank. Big we're actually e. going to swap out Paige for Big Giant show. Big Show Big anyways. Show. That way we can finish the first battle. And we're going to give him the money in the bank ticket. Big Show. So in the 10th matchup, we have Centurion Roman Reigns, Viper Randy Orton, and the Demon King. Cards gain a level of 10. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. And we got our third money in the bank proc in the first battle. Let's get it going. Roman Reigns eliminated, Randy Orton is in. Venomous backbreaker blocked for 70 damage, Randy Orton eliminated, and the airplane spin should get rid of Kane for the victory in the tenth fight. Ninety XP, 410 credits, up to 710, so we got our third 300 credit proc. In the 11th matchup, we have Ice Witch, Brie Bella, White Witch, Trash Stratus, and Ancient Druid Sheamus. Cards gain a level 11, skip the match is 10,000 credits. And here they go! <laughs> Brie Bella eliminated, Trish Stratus comes in. Trish Stratus eliminated, the Dragon Screw on Sheamus. And we kick Sheamus in the deck for the victory in the 11th fight. 192 XP, 430 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Adrenaline Rush. Going up against Pyromancer, Nikki Bella, Yes Movement, Daniel Bryan, and Giant Big Show. Cards gain a low of 12. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Here we go! <laughs> Big E clobbered away at Nikki Bella. Chopping away at her. Spinning Jawbreaker is going to connect. Hit for about 220. Big E chopping away at Nikki Bella gets eliminated. The Big Show comes in. Cobra Clutch Slam blocked for 75 damage. That Cobra Clutch Slam is going to connect. Hits are about 250. For some reason that move hasn't done damage on the tag. I don't know if it's bugged or not. That should have knocked out the Big Show. It's all of his fat. So we're going to go the big ending, and Daniel Bryan is eliminated. Ain't enough. 1,971 damage for the victory in the 12th fight. 194 XP. 2,950 credits. So the dashing rogue John Cena challenge battle one on standard difficulty is completed. And in the second challenge, which we've already done one fight on, just so we don't have to spend stamina, Kane must be on your team. So we are going to put in Randy Evolved Rain New York. I think we're going to throw in Centurion Reigns. Roman Reigns, and we're also going to throw Kane, Kane back in. Randy Orton. So we're going to give Randy Orton Vince's microphone. We're going to give him the Inner Beast and the Tactical Vest, because we're not going to give up any RKO. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is going to have the Money in the Bank gear. Roman Reigns. Kane. And the Demon Kane is going to take Battleground gear, Ultimate WrestleMania gear. And we're going to throw on the Money in the Bank. Kane. Picture. 
So in the second matchup, we have Dark Sorceress Page, Giant Big Show, and Viper Randy Orton. Cards gain a level of 12. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. It begins. Who'll come out on top? Page almost wiped out in one shot. The Big Show is in. Who is that? Big Show eliminated. And Randy Orton about to go down for the victory in the second fight. One hundred ninety-four XP, two hundred and sixty credits. In the third matchup, we have Ice Witch Brie Bella, Ancient Druid Sheamus, and Yes Movement Daniel Bryan. Cards gain a level of thirteen. Skip the match is one thousand credits. Let's get rolling. Well, Brie Bella eliminates. Sheamus comes in, gets wiped out. Daniel Bryan is also in. And we kick him right in the dick for the victory in the third fight. 196 XP, 280 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge. Going up against White Witch Trish Stratus, Strongman Big E, and Centurion Roman Reign. Cards gain a level of 14, skip the match is 1,000 credits. Let's get it going! So Trish Stratus eliminated, Big E comes in. Big E wiped out, healing for about 3 health. And Roman Reigns eliminate for the victory in the third from the fourth fight. 198 XP, 300 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Pyromancer Nikki Bella, Yes Movement Daniel Bryan, and the Demon K. Cards gain a level of 15. Skip the matches now, 5,000 credits. And here they go. Nikki Bella quickly eliminated. Daniel Bryan comes in. Daniel Bryan wiped out. Kane comes in. And Kane also eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. Now, because we're actually doing these fights pretty quickly, we might actually still have to spend stamina, so that could suck. 200 XP, 320 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Dark Sorceress Page, Strongman Big E, and Ancient Druid Sheamus. Cards gain a level of 16. Skip the matches. 5,000 credits. Uh, so probably actually work out better at expert difficulty when you can't wipe these guys out. This will be one for the ages. So Page eliminated. Sheamus comes in. Sheamus gets wiped out and Big E eliminate for the victory in the sixth fight. Two hundred and two XP, four thousand three hundred forty credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Giant Big Show, White Witch Trish Stratus, and Viper Randy Orton. Cards gain a level of seventeen. Skip the matches. Five thousand credits. Watch out! This one's gonna be brutal. <laughs> so Big Show eliminated. Trish Stratus is it. Trish Stratus wiped out. And the Venomous Backbreaker blocked. So we bitch slap Randy Orton for the victory in the seven fight. 204 XP. 360 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Adrenaline Rush. Going up against Yes Movement, Daniel Bryan, Ice Witch, Brie Bella, and the Demon K. Cards gain a level of 18. Skip the matches, 5,000 credits. Here we go! Daniel Bryan eliminated. Brie Bella gets eliminated. And Kane is also going to get wiped out for the victory in the A fight. 6 XP, 380 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Strongman Big E, Centurion Roman Reigns, and Ancient Druid Sheamus. 
Cards gain a level of 19, but the right card has a promotion and still has less health than Biggie and Centurion Roman Reigns. Let's give the matches now 10,000 credits. It begins. Who'll come out on top? So Biggie eliminated. Roman Reigns comes in. Roman Reigns eliminated. Sheamus is in. And Sheamus bitch slap for the victory in the ninth fight. 208 XP. 400 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Giant Big Show, White Witch Trish Stratus, and Dark Sorceress Paige. Cards gain a level of 20, and the red card still has one promotion. Let's give the match is 10,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. The big Show eliminated. Page is in. Page gets wiped out. And Trish Stratus eliminated for the victory in the 10th fight. 10 XP, 420 credits. Up to 520 as we got a one star money in the bank gear proc, or two star. In the 11th matchup, we have Pyromancer Nikki Bella, Yes Movement Daniel Bryan, and the Demon King. Cards gain a level of 21, and the right card gains a promotion to Legendary 2. Let's give the match is 10,000 credits. Let's get it going. Nikki Bella eliminated. Kane comes in. Gets wiped out. And Daniel Bryan is about to get eliminated for the victory in the 11th fight. Two hundred twelve XP. Four hundred and forty credits. As Kriparian actually favored in my tweet. That's pretty badass. So in the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle, going up against Strongman Big E, Viper Randy Orton, and Giant Big Show. Cards gain a level of 22. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. And here they go. So the challenge is Shuffle. Big E gets wiped out. Randy Orton comes in. Randy Orton eliminated. The Big Show is in. Kane comes in. Power bomb on the Big Show, and that will be enough to get rid of him for the victory in the 12th fight. <laughs> 214 XP, 460 credits. So the Dashing Rogue John Cena Challenge Battle 2 on standard difficulty is completed, and we will receive a bronze booster pack. Inside, we receive. An Ice Witch Brie Bella, Air Stratus, which is White Witch Trish Stratus' level 2 move, and Fan Favorite, which is Trish Stratus' attack boost. A lot of boosts for Trish that we already have. Rock well, in the Lesnar. third challenge, only bronze and silver characters are allowed your team. We're going to start Nikki off with Bella. Brock Lesnar. I think we're going to put in both Bellas. Brie Bella. Brock Lesnar. Bronze Bella to start off. We're going to give Brock Lesnar Vince's microphone. We're going to give him Extreme Rules gear. We're also going to give him the Tribal War Paint. We're opting Lesnar, not to use Nikki the Inner Bella. Beast. That way you can try for more critical damage. And uh, Nikki Bella Nikki will have the Bella. Money in the Bank. Here, Brie, Brie Bella. Bella will have the Money in the Bank ticket. Brie Bella. So in the first matchup, we have Icebound Watcher, Stone Cold, Banshee Knight Page, and Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Cards start off at level 1. Still the match is 5,000 credits. Let's get rolling. Stone Cold eliminated. Page eliminated. And Sheamus is going to get pummeled for the victory in the first fight. Turner 12 XP. 
250 credits. Actually, using Brock Lesnar is bad because we have to save him for the fourth battle. So we're only going to do a couple fights. We're going to have to spend stamina anyway. In the second matchup, we have Arena Ultimate Warrior, Stone Watcher of the Rock, and Soldier John Cena. Cards gain a level of two. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Using Watch Randy out. Orton is also this bad, too, so we're actually spending more stamina by using these guys in a couple of challenges, so. Ultimate Warrior eliminated, The Rock comes in. Brock Lesnar's pissed off. John Cena also comes in. And John Cena eliminated for the victory in the second fight. 214 XP. 270 credits. We're gonna put in Green Winter Guardian Bella. Brie Bella. We're gonna Dean put in Back Amber. Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose. And we're gonna Nikki put in Solar Bella. Assassin Bella. Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella will have the Money in the Bank ticket. Nikki Bella. Dean Ambrose. Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose is gonna have Vince's microphone, Money in the Bank gear, and also the Lunatic Straight Jacket. For some reason, the Lunatic Straight Dean Jacket actually Ambrose. crashes the game, and I'm not sure if that's a legit Dean bug or Ambrose. not. We're going to actually try to put that on gold, Dean Ambrose, and see if we Dean have a problem with Ambrose. him. I've used that on him before, and it's actually on him, so I don't understand why. But for some reason, it says The Undertaker has it. What the heck is up with that? So we found a very interesting bug in this game. Okay, that's funny. The Undertaker... It says he has the lunatic straight jacket, and he really doesn't. And that's still crashing the game, so I'm not sure why that's actually happening. That's pretty fucked up. Dean Ambrose. With the back alley brawler Dean Ambrose, we're going to give him the Celtic Pendant. For some Dean reason, Ambrose. Dean Ambrose's gear item is bugged. I'm not sure exactly how to fix it. In the third matchup, we have Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, Dead Man Undertaker, and back alley brawler Dean Ambrose. Cards gain a level of three. Let's give the match with 5,000 credits. So we got our first money in the bank, Brock, in the third battle. Who will come out on top? The reason Vince's microphone is really good with Dean Ambrose is his combo ender, at least on the gold one, stuck. He has that heavy light combo that actually works better than the heavy combo. So if you can get an adrenaline drain off, it's pretty cool. So there's the dead man. Undertaker eliminated. Back alley brawler Dean Ambrose is in at two and a half bars. Sorting off the dirty deeds and back alley brawler Dean Ambrose eliminates himself. This is going to get dirty. 3,490 damage for the victory in the third fight. 216 XP. 290 credits. Up to 590. So we got another three-star gear item proc. A four-star. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Adrenaline Rush. Going up against Lunar Guardian Brie Bella, the Authority Triple H, and Solar Assassin Nikki Bella. Cards gain a level of four. Skip the matches. 5,000 credits. Let's get rolling. Dean Ambrose quickly at a bar. The Triple H charges in and Brie Bella gets wiped out. Never seen him do that with Stephanie. Triple H gets bitch slapped and in his Nikki Bella. Spinning Jawbreaker and that miss being too far away. Nikki Bella wiped out for the victory in the fourth fight. Three hundred eighteen XP, three hundred ten credits. 
In the fifth matchup, we have Arena Ultimate Warrior, The Authority, Stephanie McMahon, and Soldier John Cena. Cards gain a level of 5, so the match is now 10,000 credits. And here they go. The Ultimate Warrior and Dean Ambrose started off. He tries to take out the trash on the Warrior. Adrenaline gain will put him over a bar, but that adrenaline drain from Vince's microphone comes in handy. John Cena takes a pebble in the face. Cena plays block for 111. John Cena eliminates. Stephanie McMahon comes in, who is wearing those white panties again. Well, hair pulls Snapmare into a comeback clothesline. And Stephanie McMahon eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. 220 XP. 330 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Icebound Watcher Stone Cold. Celtic Warrior Sheamus and Pantheon Big E. Cards gain a level of 6. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Here we go! Stone Cold takes a rock to the face. Stone Cold almost at two bucks. Only hitting Dean Ambrose with 16. Stone Cold eliminated. Sheamus comes in. 10% health for the opponent. Sheamus eliminated. We're going to go off the dirty deeds. And Big E is eliminated. This is going to get nasty. 3,490 damage for the victory in the sixth fight. Turn 22 XP. 6,350 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Stone Watcher the Rock, Banshee Knight Page, and Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Cards gain a level of seven. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. And we get another money in the bank, Brock. This will be one for the ages. Another one that really benefits from combo enters is Banshee Knight Page. The Brock Lesnar is in. Brock Lesnar at almost two bars already. And those level two moves suck. That ground and pound is going to connect, but it's going to put Dean Ambrose over two bars. The Brock Lesnar eliminate Page comes in. Bring up the dirty deeds and get rid of Page. Is it going to get ugly? The Rock electrified suplex block for 127. That suplex is going to connect. It's for 509. But the Rock eliminated for the victory in the seventh fight as Dean Ambrose got pissed off. 224 XP. 370 credits. Up to 470. So we got our first one or two star proc of the third battle. And two all together. So we're gonna have to swap out our roster. We're gonna go with double Big, Big E as we Big be able to e. recharge that by the end. And we're also gonna put in Stone Watcher the Rock, who is a the pretty rock, solid attacker. We're gonna give him Vince's microphone. The Rock. One of these days Big I will e. actually do a farming screen, unlock all these gear slots. So Big E's gonna have the money in the bank gear. Big E. Big E. And Strongman Big E is going to have the money in the bank ticket. Big E. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Finishing Move Disabled. 
going up against the Authority Triple H, Arena Ultimate Warrior, and Solar Assassin, Mickey Bell. Cards gain a low of 8, so the match is 10,000 credits. Let's get it going! So the challenge is finishing move disabled, which pretty much means the Rock has to use level 1 specials, as level 2 is garbage. Triple H about to go down. Ultimate Warrior comes in. Now you can still get the three bars, you just can't use any of these funky combos. So we got the electrifying suplex on the Ultimate Warrior. That does not wipe him out. Health gain into a Warrior Ring. Even up a second electrifying suplex and make sure we get rid of him. Does knock him out. Nikki Bella is in, who's just over a bar. And another electrifying suplex, this time on Nikki Bella. Barely survived that. Spinning Jump Breaker into a Strongman Crush, and Nikki Bella eliminated for the victory in the eighth fight. 226 XP, 390 credits. In the ninth matchup, they have Pantheon Big E, Soldier John Cena, and Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Cards gain a low at 9, skip the matches now, 15,000 credits. Watch out! This one's gonna be brutal! The Big E at one bar, The Rock almost at a bar. Strongman Crush blocked for 160, Big E eliminated, John Cena comes in. John Cena almost at two bars. Cena Flex blocked for 171. John Cena eliminated, Irish Curse into the rock bottom, and Sheamus is eliminated. It 3,985 damage for the victory in the ninth fight. 228 XP, 410 credits. In the tenth matchup, we have Stone Watcher the Rock, Deadman Undertaker, and Banshee Knight Page. Cards gain a level of 10, skip the match is 15,000 credits. This will be one for the ages! The Rock tags out, the Undertaker is in. Choke Slam blocked for 120. Undertaker's Dead Man Trigger. Undertaker eliminated. The Rock comes back in. Electrifying Suplex blocked for 194. And the Rock eliminated. We're off another Rock bottom. And Banshee Knight Page is eliminated. Three thousand nine hundred eighty-five damage for the victory in the time fight. Two hundred thirty XP. Four hundred thirty credits. In the eleventh matchup, we have Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose, Lunar Guardian Brie Bella, and Arena Ultimate Warrior. Cards gain a level eleven. Skip the match with fifteen thousand credits. It begins. Who'll come out on top? Dean Ambrose near half health. Furious Smackdown into an electrified Super. We're gonna try to get rid of him to avoid that half damage to base the pass. And we almost knock him out, not quite. Dean Ambrose does not very tags out. 
Three ball is in with that annoying moon shield. Warrior can run a block for 102. Ultimate Warrior comes in. Warrior Rage into another Electrified Suplex. It's for 10.62. Big E comes into the match for the first time. There's the adrenaline game for the Warrior. I think taking the level 1 move might actually be a good idea because it will give him some power. Oh, well, not the level 2 move. There's the moon shield again. There's no point in blocking here. Want to get the three bars and get rid of somebody. Gotta take the Hurricane Rana. It's for 522. And we've got the big ending. Three dollars should be eliminated. Three ain't enough. I need five. Ruthless assault block for one twelve. And we're got the second big ending for annoying factor. And Dean Ambrose is eliminated by two tons of weight. Actually, about fifty tons of weight. Can you feel the power? A big E. 1,877 damage for the victory in the 11th fight. 232 XP, 450 credits. In the 12th matchup, they have Challenge Shuffle. Going up against Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, Pantheon Big E, and Icebound Watcher Stone Cold. Cards gain a level of 12, so the match is 15,000 credits. Let's get it going! The Big E comes in, ground and pound block for 107. This is the solar version. This table will some damage. The Rock comes back in. It's really only worth using level 1 moves or the finishers, so I think we're going to work towards 3 bars. And either get rid of Stone Cold or Big E. And Strongman Crush blocked at the last minute for 176. So Bronze Big E is in, who is also black, but not quite as black as Strongman Big E. Strongman Crush blocked for 226. So at this point, it's not even worth using the finisher on Big E, because he's already down to like 1 third health. So Brock Lesnar and Silver Big E are in. Again, it's not worth using a finisher because he's so low on health. So Brock Lesnar eliminates Stone Cold with the Ice Cold Strike, and now we're going to get off the big ending and soften up Stone Cold. It's time for the That's big enough to knock ending. him out. Ron Big E is in. And a second big ending should get rid of the Silver Big E. Get ready for the big. 1,877 damage for the victory in the 12th fight. 234 XP, 470 credits. So the dashing rogue John Cena challenge battle three on standard difficulty is completed and we will receive 15,000 immortal credits. So the fourth challenge, Brock Lesnar must be on your team. And unfortunately we did use him a little bit in the third battle. We have to recharge him once anyways. We're going to put in Cyborg Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Daniel we're going to put Bryan. in Bronze Daniel Bryan. And we're going to toss in Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus. Brock Lesnar. So we're going to give Cyborg Brock Lesnar Vince's microphone. We're also going to give him the inner beast. I still think it sucks that Lunatic Straight Brock Jacket Lesnar. is bugged out, but I'm not sure how to actually fix Daniel that. Bryan. Undertaker's gear slot might be messed up as well until the update. Daniel Bryan. Trish Stratus. So with Trish Stratus, we're going to give her the Money in the Bank ticket. Trish Stratus. So one challenge currency, two stamina per fight. Brock Lesnar must be on your team. In the first matchup, we have Solar Assassin, Nikki Bella, Stone Watcher of the Rock, and Arena Ultimate Warrior. Cards start off at level 11 silver. Skip the match is 5,000 credits.
And here they go. So the rock comes in after Nikki Bella tags out. Rock eliminated. Ultimate Warrior is in. Helps gain into a ground and pow. That is enough to get rid of the Ultimate Warrior and Nikki Bella eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 232 XP. 260 credits. In the second matchup, we have Banshee Knight Page, The Authority, Stephanie McMahon, and Pantheon Big E. Cards remain at level 11. Skip the match with 5,000 credits, and allies of Cena have come after you. I really don't know why, because Cena has no friends, and everybody thinks Cena sucks. Let's get rolling. I really don't think so. I think that he's got a lot of potential left. Page eliminates. Stephanie McMahon is in. Stephanie McMahon eliminated white panties and all. Maybe he's trying to take it to Brock Lesnar, but not really working that well. And the Cyborg Strength will get rid of Big E for the victory in the second fight. Two hundred thirty-four XP. 280 credits. In the third matchup, we have Soldier John Cena, Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, and Lunar Guardian Brie Bella. Cards gain a level of 12, so the match is 5,000 credits. So we got our first Money in the Bank proc in the fourth battle. Here we go! <laughs> John Cena eliminated. Bree Bella is in with that ugly ass moon shield. Brock Lesnar comes in. Brock Lesnar almost at two bars. Brock Lesnar eliminated. Andy Perth and Rana blocked for 88 damage. Brie Bella eliminated for the victory in the third fight. 236 XP, 300 credits, up to 400 with a two-star gear prop. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Adrenaline Rush, going up against Celtic Warrior Sheamus, The Authority Triple H, and Icebound Watcher Stone Cold. Cards remain at level 12, so the match is 5,000 credits. I think we are going to recharge... Brock Lesnar first. This will be one for the ages. Famous eliminated. Triple H comes in. Brock Lesnar at one bar. Triple H eliminated. Stone Cold is in. Ground and pound blocked. Ice Cold Vengeance and the second ground and pound connects. For the victory in the fourth fight. Two hundred and thirty-eight XP, three hundred and twenty credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Arena Ultimate Warrior, Back Alley Brawler, Dean Ambrose, and Dead Man Undertaker. Cards gain a level of thirteen. Skip the match is ten thousand credits. Let's get it going. Well, adrenaline game kicks in, which does nothing. Back alley brawler Dean Ambrose is in. Still hitting for 228 on heavy attack. I'm gonna take that furious smack off. It does put Brock Lesnar at two bars. Dean Ambrose eliminated. The Undertaker is in. There's the dead man. We're off the F5. And the Undertaker is eliminated. 
Here comes the 7,869 damage for the victory in the fifth fight. 240 XP. 340 credits. We're going to make our first roster change. We're going to put show. in Giant Big Show. And we're also going to put in... I think we're just going to throw in Silver Rock Undertaker. Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's gear is fine. Giant Big Show, we're going to give back the money in the bank gear. Big Show, Undertaker. And Dead Man Undertaker will have the money in the bank ticket. Undertaker. For some reason, the Lunatic Straight Jacket is still messed up. Undertaker. So in the sixth matchup, we have Stone Watcher The Rock, Lunar Guardian Brie Bella, and Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Cards remain at level 13. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. And we should have enough credits for another gold booster pack along with John And Cena. here they go. So Brie Bella comes in with the move shield. Brock Lesnar is in. Brock Lesnar eliminated. Ground and Pound on the Rock will also damage Nikki Bell a little bit too. It should be enough to get rid of him. Yes, it is. Here come around a block for 140. And Brie Bella eliminated for the victory in the sixth fight. 242 XP, 8,360 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have the Authority Triple H, Celtic Warrior Sheamus, and Banshee Knight Page. Cards gain a level of 14, so the match is 10,000 credits. It begins. Who'll come out on top? <laughs> Triple H eliminates, Sheamus comes in. Sheamus wiped out, Paige comes in. And the Cyborg Strength will get rid of Paige for the victory in the seventh fight. Two hundred forty-four XP, three hundred eighty credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle. Going up against Icebound Watcher, Stone Cold, Soldier John Cena, and Pantheon Big E. Cards remain at level 14. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Let's get rolling. Stone Cold eliminate, John Cena is in. The Big Show comes in with all of his fat, hitting for 50 damage. Big Show almost at two bars, Undertaker comes in. Brock Lesnar back in at two bars. John Cena eliminated. Strongman Crush is going to connect him. Wasn't blocking for some reason. So Big Show comes in with all of his fat. Almost at three bars. Strongman Crush into a KO punch. And this will put Big E down pretty low on health. You wish you were as big as 2001 damage. That's quite enough to get rid of him. But we're going to go the F5, and now Big E is eliminated for being black. Get ready. 7,869 damage for the victory in the 8th fight. 246 XP. 400 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, Arena Ultimate Warrior, and the Authority Stephanie McMahon. 
Cards get a level of 15, and the right card has a promotion. Still the matches now, 15,000 credits. Watch out, this one's gonna be brutal. Nikki Bella eliminates Stephanie McMahon as in. Purple Snapmare blocked the 532, Stephanie eliminated. Help gain Warrior Rage into a Cyborg Strength, and the Ultimate Warrior is eliminated for the victory in the ninth fight. I've always wanted to trigger that ability and have a special move actually not knock him out. 248 XP, 420 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Lunar Guardian Bree Bella, Celtic Warrior Seamus, and Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. The promotion shifts to the left slot for the remainder of the fight. Still, the match is 15,000 credits. We go! The three Bella E eliminate, Sheamus comes in. Ground and pound block. Sheamus eliminated, Brock Lesnar comes in. Both Brock Lesnar in that one box. Throw another ground and pound, and Brock Lesnar eliminates himself. What a victory in the tenth fight. Two hundred and fifty XP, four hundred and forty credits. In the eleventh matchup, we're gonna have to swap our roster for two fights. Brock Lesnar does have to be on your team, so we're using Lesner. Silver Brock Lesnar. We use Evolve Daniel Bryan. And we're going to put Daniel in Dark Souls with Pain, so we've all Daniel Bryan, we're going to give him the money in the bank, Daniel here, Bryan. even though it's more beneficial hey. to use Vince's microphone. And we're going to give Dark Sorcerer's Page the money in the bank ticket. Page. So in the 11th matchup, we have Soldier John Cena, Stonewatcher of the Rock, and Banshee Knight Page. The right card gains 6 levels to 21 just for one fight, the other cards gain 1 level to 16. So the match is 15,000 credits. And that just shows you that they pretty much copy paste from Injustice and fail. And here they go. I should like the Dean Ambrose count. They actually gave me more credits for completing the final battle of the fight. That was pretty cool. For some reason, I really haven't liked to involve Daniel Bryan over No, No, No. I think that speed boost with the special really makes a difference. You really do more damage on base attack. No, 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 Daniel Bryan just seems so much more useful. There's a 50% damage boost. Page with the Banshee Rage blocked for 289. And the Roundhouse Beatdown will get rid of Page. The Rock gets kicked in the face for the victory in the 11th fight. 252 XP, 460 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Lifesteal. Went up against Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, Deadman Undertaker, and Pantheon Big E. All cards are level 16, the left card still has that promotion. Still, the match is 15,000 credits. Let's get it going! <laughs> Nikki Bella tags out the Undertaker is in. Chokeslam blocked for 150. So it's about 25% on that. Not quite. Undertaker is dead man trigger. Daniel Bryan's at two bars. Chokeslam blocked the Undertaker eliminated. Nikki Bella is in. Which means that. Big E will probably take the yes, yes, yes. Right man correct block, and yes, he will. 
So Biggie is eliminated as he gets kicked a lot. Spinning Jawbreaker is going to connect, but it's not really going to do much. It does heal for 174. The second one's going to connect. The heal value. And Nikki Bella eliminated for the victory in the 12th fight. 254 XP, 480 credits. So the dashing rogue John Cena challenge battle four on standard difficulty is completed. And now we have a silver booster pack. Inside we receive an Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, Flying Headbutt, which is no, 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 Daniel Bryan's level two move, which is already maxed out, and Anti Hero, which is Stone Cold's health boost. So in the fifth challenge, Randy Orton must be on your team. We're going to see which Randy Orton has less stamina. So both of them are pretty banged up. You can pretty much use them three times. Randy We're going to start with Orton. Viper Randy Orton once. Roman Reigns. Actually twice. How the Justice Roman Reigns? And we're going to put in Stone Icebound watching Roman Stone Cold. We're going to give Roman Reigns some damage gear. We're going to give him Vince's microphone, the money in the bank gear. And we're going to give him the... Tactical vest. Roman Reigns, Stone Cold. Steve Ice Bond Watcher Stone Cold will get the ticket. So we're going to use Bronze Randy Orton for two fights and Gold Stone Randy Orton Cold, for Steve 14. Austin. In the first matchup, we have Renegade Macho Man, Lunar Guardian, Brie Bella, and Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Gold card starts at level 10, the silver card starts at level 12, and the gold card is in the left slot. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. Now, Roman Reigns is another good one for Vince's microphone because his light combo is a lot more useful than the heavy. The Macho Man eliminated. Sheamus is in. Sheamus eliminated. I already got the Howling Spear right as the Moon Shield goes away. Brie Bella is eliminated. Everyone has a plan. 7,326 damage for the victory in the first fight. 252 XP, 270 credits. In the second matchup, we have Icebound Watcher, Stone Cold, Skull King, Triple H, and Banshee Knight Page. Silver cards gain a level of 13, and the gold card shifts to the middle slot. Silver match is 10,000 credits. It begins. Who will come out on top? Ice Cold Vengeance. Stone Cold eliminated. Page eliminated, and the Machine Gun Garage should be enough to get rid of Skull King Triple H for the victory in the second fight. Two hundred fifty-four XP, two hundred ninety credits. So we're gonna put in Gold Randy Orton. Randy, Randy Orton. Orton. We're gonna swap the ticket over to him. We're also going to give him the win the fan and the WrestleMania gear just so we can hope for an RKO at some point. Although Randy not pretty likely Orton. since these guys are pretty weak. So in the third matchup, we have Pantheon Big E, Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, and Lumberjack Big Shot. All cards gain a level of 14 and 11. The gold card shifts to the right slot. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Let's get rolling. Biggie eliminated. Brock Lesnar comes in.
Brock Lesnar eliminated the Big Show is in with his big defense. Don't worry about the Holy Spear and Fat Fuck is eliminated. The big dog still runs this. 7,326 damage for the victory in the third fight. 256 XP, 310 credits. We're going to make our first roster change. We're going to put in Mad Wyatt. Scientist Bray Wyatt. Bray We're going to put in Ice Witch Bree Bella. Why is the bullhead tattoo on him? That makes no sense. I'm going to give him Vince's microphone. I'm going to give him Money in the Bank again. I'm kind of scared to Wyatt. remove that. I think that's bugged as well. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Fatigue. Going up against Hound of Justice, Roman Reigns, Soldier John Cena, and Solar Assassin Nikki Bella. Cards gain a level of 15, and the gold card stays at 11. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. It begins. Who will come out on top? Bray Wyatt has one of those combo enters, but he's actually a really good gold card considering he has four times to die before he actually goes down. That Superman punch is going to connect right away. Throw a WrestleMania gear on Bray Wyatt that adds another level of noise. You probably want Vince's microphone and probably not his personal gear in. You want something that also works like Extreme Rules. Because that's probably the best way to gear him up. John Cena at two bars. Five knuckle shuffle block. We got the suplex shot. John Cena eliminated. Spinning Jawbreaker blocked for 181. The Roman Reigns is in. That Superman punch is going to connect. It's for 863. Powerhouse triggers. Superman punch blocked for 290. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face as Nikki Bella is eliminated. I am the 9,216 damage for the victory in the fourth fight. 258 XP. 330 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Angelic Knight, Trish Stratus, Deadman Undertaker, and Arena Ultimate Warrior. Cards gain a level of 12 and 16. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. And here they go. At some point in the time of this fight, we're going to go up a Sister Abigail. That Whiplash Head Scissors is going to connect. It's for a lot of damage on Bray Wyatt, but he does have three lives to go to. Trish Stratus almost eliminated. Ultimate Warrior comes in. Warrior Rage blocked for 160. Everyone got the Sister Abigail. The Ultimate Warrior is eliminated. We're here. They've got the coolest description I've seen as well. Run! Trish Stratus eliminated. Choke Slam blocked for 179. That's right. Blocked for 126. Dead Man Triggers, and from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face as The Undertaker is eliminated. You just been 9,216 damage for the victory in the fifth fight. 260 XP, 350 credits. 
the sixth matchup, we have Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold, Stone Watcher of the Rock, and Pantheon Big E. Cards gain a level of 13 and 17. Let's get the match is 15,000 credits. Here we go! So the adrenaline drain finally kicks in from the Vince's microphone. Stone Cold stunned again. Stone Cold getting down on health. Bray Wyatt almost at two bucks. Gauntlets of Azrael would be really good on Bray Wyatt since it looks like a two hit combo on the basic attack. Big E comes in. Someone got the sister Abigail and Big E is eliminated. Run! The rock comes in. Randy Orton almost at two bars. Let the fight suplex like block for 145. Oh, he gets out of that spot. But that simply means The Rock's going to take it and not Stone Cold. Electrifying Suplex and from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face. As Stone Watcher The Rock is eliminated. Top quiz, who are the only two cards that have one variant? 9,216 damage for the victory in the sixth fight. And if you guess the Kane, Kane and The Rock, you are correct. 262 XP, 370 credits. We're going to make our second roster change. I think we're going to go with double Macho, Macho Man. Macho Man. Macho Man. Because that's pretty fun. So we're going to give Macho Man Vince's microphone, the Celtic Pendant, and the Inner Beast. Macho Man. Macho Man. And Renegade Macho Man will get the Money in the Bank here. Macho Man. the WrestleMania ticket. So in the seventh matchup, we have Banshee Knight Page, Celtic Warrior Sheamus, and King of Kings Triple H. Cards gain a level of 18 and 14, and gold card shifts to the right slot. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. The page eliminated. Sheamus comes in. Sheamus eliminated. Triple H comes in. Macho Drop is going to connect. Not quite enough to get rid of Triple H. But we bash him down for the victory in the seventh fight. 264 XP. 390 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Poison Cloud. Going up against Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. No, no, no Daniel Bryan and the Authority Triple H. Cards gain a level of 19 and 15. The middle card goes to the middle slot, or the gold card goes to the middle slot. Skip the match, it's 15,000 credits. Let's get it going. Brock Lesnar about to go down. That poison cloud is extremely weak. I don't even think it's one half percent part per second. Triple H about to go down. Daniel Bryan at one bar, but the Macho Drop will get rid of him. Go to victory in the eighth fight. I wasn't even one half percent on the Poison Club. 266 XP, 12,410 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, Cyborg Brock Lesnar, and Arena Ultimate Warrior. Cards gain a level of 16 and 20. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. Watch out. This one's going to be brutal. So Nikki Bella quickly tags out to the ultimate warrior. Health gain. The ultimate warrior is about to go down. Nikki Bella is in. Nikki Bella eliminates. Cyborg Brock Lesnar comes in. Macho King almost at two bars. 
Throwing off the elbow drop and cyborg Brock Lesnar is eliminated. Macho man Randy 8,745 damage for the victor in the ninth fight. 268 XP, 430 credits. I'm going to make two more roster changes. I'm going to go Dean with Gold Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. John I'm going to put in Soldier Ambrose. John Cena. So the Lunatic Straight Jacket, for some reason, is still on him, but it shows the Undertaker. I'm going to give him Vince's microphone, and we're going to give him the Celtic Pendant. The gear score does count with Dean Ambrose. Gold Dean Ambrose, and for some reason it does work, but it looks to be bugged. John Cena. And there's the John money in the bank Cena. gear for John Randy Cena. Randy Orton. And Randy Orton obviously has a ticket which hasn't gone off. In the tenth matchup, we have Enlightened Big Show, Soldier John Cena, and Lunar Guardian Brie Bell. Cards gain a level of 17 and 21. The gold card shifts to the left slot. The skill of the match is 20,000 credits. We have six fights to go, and next few fights we'll have we two go. gold cards, not one. But Dean Ambrose is extremely good with light attacks, especially because the gold version stuns, just like Randy Orton and Silver Cole. Now, I have seen the stun actually backfire on Bray Wyatt and the Ultimate Warrior, so it's not foolproof. Big Show eliminated. John Cena eliminated. We're going to the Dirty Deeds through the Moon Shield. That should be enough to get rid of three belts. This is going to get dirty. 4,374 damage for the victory in the 10th fight. 270 XP, 450 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Hound of Justice, Roman Reigns, Dead Man, Undertaker, and Skull King, Triple H. Cards gain a level of 18 and 22, and there are now two gold cards in the outer slot. Still, the match is 20,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. <laughs> Now with the lunatic fringe passive, Dean Ambrose can get some growth base or finisher damage with Stephanie McMahon and Big E if he can time it right. Although it's very difficult to do. So Undertaker is in. Then we're gonna try to basic attack him down and save our finisher for Skull King Triple H. Undertaker is stuck. Last ride blocked for 227. Undertaker eliminated. Pointing off the Dirty Deeds and Skull King Triple H should be eliminated. This is gonna get dirty. 8,749 damage for the victory in the 11th fight. 272 XP, 470 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Finishing Move Disabled, going up against Banshee Knight Page, Angelic Knight Trish Stratus, and Jungle Ultimate Warrior. All cards remain at 18 and 22. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. Let's get it going! <laughs> Page is eliminated by the stun. Trish Stratus is in. Trish Stratus is stunned. Trish Stratus eliminated. Intimidation doesn't do anything at the moment on Dean Ambrose, and it does not actually work to counter his passive. So waiting for him to do a move. Yeah. 
Warrior Rage block and the Cycle Possession should be enough to get rid of the Ultimate Warrior for the victory in the Swamp fight. Seventy four XP, four hundred ninety credits. So next up, we're going to put in. I think we're going to throw John in Evolve Cena. John Cena. Page. Let's throw in Evolve John Page. We're going to have the Evolve team here. We're going to give John Cena the money in the bank here, just because John we can. Cena. Actually, I think we're going to give him the Extreme Rules gift. Because the heavyweight championship gives more damage on crit attacks. John Cena. Hey. Here and really isn't that good for John Cena. We just have it anyways. The fun factor. And I have no idea why Paige has the battleground sticker. Paige. Kind of weird gear choices here. In the 13th matchup, we have Necromancer, Undertaker, Pantheon Biggie, and Lumberjack Big Shot. Cards gain a level of 23 and 19. This is the last fight with only two gold cards. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. And here they go. <laughs> Extreme Rules Gear is actually interesting on Evolve John Cena. It did, does buy him a little bit of health, but it has the potential of reducing his damage significantly. That choke slam is going to connect because you can actually heal up your threshold of health. That can be really bad, but at the same time you'd heal for more. So it's actually not that bad. Yeah. Choke slam into a lift slam. We're going to get rid of the Undertaker. Yeah. So Big E comes in. Strong Man Crush block for 337. We're going to get paid in. Work towards two bars for the big show. Ray Jordan already at two bars. And the battleground gear also generates power quicker for Randy Orton. Timba! Block for 392. So we're going to try to stun off the big defense. And we get one. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face, as Fat Buck is eliminated for trying to pose as a lumberjack. I am the apex. We're about to get rid of him. Throwing up the pace turner and strongman Big E is eliminated. Nine thousand five hundred and twenty-eight damage for the victory in the thirteenth fight. Two hundred seventy-six XP, five hundred and ten credits. In the fourteenth matchup, we have Lunatic Fringe, Dean Ambrose, Macho King, Macho Man, and King of Kings Triple H. Outer cards are level eighteen gold. The middle card is level twenty. Skip the match is twenty thousand credits. It begins. You'll yeah. come out on top. Again, Rain York. Furious Smackdown is going to connect on Rain York. It does put him at two bars up. Trying for another stun combo. And we hit it. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face as Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose is eliminated. I always strike first. The page comes in. Macho drop blocked for 433. And you see the adrenaline slowly gaining because of the battleground here. The ticket also works in Stephanie McMahon's. Armor of the Authority also adds adrenaline generation, so if all three are actually stackable, you can get some scary numbers. Spinning! The Cyber Strength Clothesline on the Macho thing, and it should be enough to get rid of them. Cena is at two bars. Magical Synergy into John Cena. Face Buster is going to connect, but it really doesn't matter. 
Putting up the attitude adjustment and King of Kings Triple H should be eliminated. You can't see me. 7,177 damage for the victory in the 14 fight. 278 XP, 530 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Doom Clock going up against Dashing Rogue John Cena with 6,300 damage and 9,994 health. Card is level 22 gold. Skip the match is 30,000 credits. Now, I don't know why the slash screen for rolling. Cena shows 55,000 damage. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Unless he gains damage per promotion. Yeah. Yeah. Two minutes and 30 seconds to complete this fight, which is plenty of time. I think I actually want to end the fight with an RKO. I'm going to get in Randy Orton. The stun combos can also get him up to two bars, which is actually really good because I want to show off his moves if possible. Yeah. So hopefully we see a level two move and not a Cena flex. There was a Cena plus block for 970, so we're going to try to light combo him up to two bars. Unfortunately, he failed. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face as Dashing Rogue John Cena is eliminated. I am the 9,216 damage for the victory in the 15th fight. 336 XP, 1,100 credits. So the Dashing Rogue John Cena Challenge Battle 5 on Standard Difficulty is completed, and we will receive our first John Cena. If you'll complete the challenge, the challenge will now reset so you can play it again. Enemies will be tougher this time around. And we also get another one if we complete it, so we're going to go into our collection. John Dashing Rogue Cena. John Cena at level 1 has those stats. John Cena. Passive ability is called Mischievous Tactics. Cena reduces enemy healing by 50% and his combos deal damage over time. So I'm not sure if this actually is like Randy Orton where it's the light and heavy combos or if it's only the uh, light attack. Cena Plex is standard, the level 1 move. Strike Die Foe is the level 2 move. Cena slashes his opponent, then cracks their back with a powerful submission bolt, kind of like the STF. And that's the other version of it, Strike Thy Foe. And the attitude adjustment is the finisher. Now, Hulk Hogan is still listed as an ally. Bray Wyatt, obviously, a rival. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into bonus battle six. We're going to do one fight to level up the new John Cena. We're going to put in Big Enlightened Show. Big Show. No, Daniel no, no, Bryan. Daniel Bryan John and Dashy Rose John Bryan. Cena. So we're going to give Daniel Bryan some gear. We're going to give him the ultimate Wrestlemania gear. We're going to give him Vince's microphone. And we're going to give him the Money in the Bank gear. Daniel Bryan. Can. Big Show. And for Enlightened Big Show, we're going to give him the blocking gear. Payback, Big Boots, and the Champion's Helmet. Now, big with show. that, you cannot take damage from Special Attacks as long as you block. So in the level up fight, we have Renegade Hulk Hogan, the Demon Kane, and Necromancer Undertaker. All cards are level 41, Legendary 5. Now, Renegade Hulk Hogan is the Arkham Origins Batman of Immortal, as he will start with Here two bars of power. Go. Moto Mayhem blocked for 4163. <laughs> Flex and Clobber blocked for 5328. It's actually been more damage than the level 2. So there's a wounded ability. Flex and Clobber gets rid of Cena and Soul Collector from the Undertaker. So I don't know what that. Looks like it's hitting for 9 damage. Whatever that is. Kind of interesting looking. So the Kane, we're just going to wipe him out with base attacks. He really doesn't have that much health. That's blocked for about 1800. That's also blocked for 1188. 
So Kane eliminated. Flex and Clobber block right off the Dragon Screw. That does adrenaline drain Hogan, preventing the special move. And the air going on the Undertaker. This is enough to get rid of him for the victory in the level up fight. 29,460 XP as Dashing Rogue John Cena should hit level 7. Actually, it's level 8. My bad. 4,550 creds and he gains about 1,617 damage along with 1,578 health. So we're going to go into Battle 25. Cena should be able to handle it, no John problem. Cena. We're going to unlock Cena's Cena. gear slots, as we have been doing with all new cards. So I actually have more gear slots than the original Cena. We're going to give him the Extreme Rules gear. We're going to give him the Heavyweight Championship, and we're going to give him the Tribal War Paint. The reason for that is both of the gear items actually give more damage on crit attacks, as does the Heavyweight Championship, so that's 60%. And the Extreme Rules gear augmented will also do that, so that'll be a lot of damage on crits. And you also gain basic damage as well. John Cena. So Strike Thy Foe, we're actually going to get one of those off in the next couple of fights. So in the... Actually, we're going to take Daniel Bryan the big shot, because they are really powerful cards, and I really Daniel don't feel Bryan. like wasting them. Especially for multiplayer coming up shortly afterwards. Stephanie put McMahon. a Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon. That's some interesting rival allies there. So in the first test fight, we have Pantheon Big E, Centurion Roman Reigns, and the Authority Triple H. Cards are level 23, and the middle card is bronze with two promotions. This will be one for the yeah. ages. Yeah. 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 Uh. So it appears to just do damage over time. 22 really isn't that bad to start out. And is that a life steal proc off of the damage over time? Yes, it is. It heals for 9 health. So the life steal can trigger off the damage over time as well. So you can see a lot of life steal potential as well. And there was another proc as well. So you can get some really usefulness out of that. It seems to actually last for a decent amount of time, too. That looked about 10 seconds. Face Buster blocked for 333. Six seconds it lasted for. Strike that follows is a rapid tap. It's for about 3,500. That's actually pretty good for a level 8 card. Strongman Crush blocks for 291. So the fact that John Cena's abilities actually work, the damage over time can also trigger the Extreme Rules gear, makes that really powerful for Cena. 6,420 XP, 860 coins. So in the second test fight, we have Ancient Druid Sheamus, Stonewatcher of the Rock, and Arena Ultimate Warrior. John and this time Cena. around, I think we're just going to go for raw damage not crit damage, and see if basic damage gear actually amplifies the amount of damage that the John damage Cena. over time does. So we saw it was hitting for about 22 damage, I believe, with heals of 8. Now with the extreme rules gear... Let's get it going! Yeah. Still only hitting for 22, so it must be a really yeah. small amount. I don't know if it's percentage based on maximum health. That really has me curious. Well, we up our base of damage. Let your fighting suplex block for 278. And the strike die fall on the ultimate warrior. Not quite enough to get rid of him. Warrior rage block for 284. And the yeah. Ultimate Warrior eliminated for the victory in the second test fight. 6,440 XP as John Cena hits level 9. 880 credits. So he did gain about 
10% raw damage, but what we're going to do is we're going to take John off the Cena. gear on Cena. John Cena. And we'll see if that has any effect. In the third and final test fight, we have Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, Cyborg, Brock Lesnar, and Giant Big Show. Cards are 23, 10, and 24 Legendary 1. Silver, Gold, and Bronze. And here they go. So it appears that basic damage does not actually affect the amount for the wounded. I'm not sure if allies and rivals actually matter with that. That could be a deciding factor, but basic damage is not. And special damage actually reacts the same way that allies and rivals can affect that. And you cannot obviously knock somebody out from zero health. So the strike that foe is going to connect on Brock Lesnar. Crown and Pound block for 256. I can actually see that damage over time being pretty cool at higher levels as it could just be a few hundred more health that you heal. And that's really good for Cena. Cobra Clutch Slam blocked for 97. And a second one blocked for 110. Throwing off the Cena Flick which got blocked. Throwing off the Yes, Yes, Yes and Giant Big Show is eliminated. Ten thousand three hundred and sixty-eight damage for the victory in the third test fight. Six thousand four hundred sixty XP, nine hundred credits. Actually, we can do one final test, although I don't know how well it would work. So, if you like this video on the dashing rogue John Cena, full five battles on standard difficulty, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite, check out my other WWE videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood channel. And I'm very inclined to believe that the Dashing Rogue John Cena stats are actually 55,000 health and 30,000 damage. Have a wonderful day, kids. And John the John Cena, Cena card costs 236,000 coins, which is actually higher than Brock Lesnar at 1,050 damage, 1,025 health www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!